What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're taking a look at a game called Anchored, which is kind of like a civilization builder on a floating island and there's like a jungle underneath it full of like, I don't know, some kind of weird, uh, they look like Tyranid bugs or something. You gotta go down there and scavenge equipment, bring it all back up and build yourself a cool little city on top of a rock which has a propulsion method which has, as of yet, not been disclosed to me. I have no idea how it flows. We're just gonna call it Magical Hoopa Jupe for right now. And hope for the best. Let's play ourselves some Anchored. Anchored. So here we are. We have Einar. Or no, we have Marta. With her magical healing aura. Let's go ahead and pick up the rest of our settlers so that they can figure out what kind of work we want them to be able to do during the course of this playthrough. Now, there's not a whole lot of sound effects or anything like that yet. The game is like in its early alpha phase. But there are like some sound effects. We're going to go like punch these stacks of meat until we get what we want out of them. There we go. And so as you can see, turnips and meat go flying everywhere. And now i got to pick these all up by hand. I think they get them automatically just when you walk by them. As we do this, we should unlock some things, I think. Or maybe we just click on that building. Yeah, we've unlocked new buildings. And so we can go down to the construction menu and as of right now we have a thing called a watchtower but in order to utilize the watchtower I think we got to go down to like the jungle and get like trees or something like that so let's take our little expedition and we're gonna click on this giant ridiculously oversized lever yes what does this do stops your island from floating away you can pick up the anchor once you have okay that's cool Sounds good to me. I don't know what rate things are gonna unlock in this game oh my god they're eating food so quickly you guys are so hungry why are you guys so hungry? Good lord. That is a lot of food that is being consumed right now. They're just like, nom 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 Eating their way through that shit. I think we might have to wait till the first night before I can do much. We can also make watchtowers. If you put in a watchtower... There we go. Night is drawing close. We must prepare to defend our settlement and defend it so good we shall. Can I put the food inside of here? Oh, I do. So that's how you put the food. There's a chicken on top of our house. Chicken! Why are you messing around on top of my house right now? Can I build this? I don't have any wood, so I doubt that this is going to work. But once you build a watchtower, you can actually put somebody on top of it, and when your team goes down to the bottom, it'll give you, like, support and, like, covering fire and stuff like that, I think. I don't know. I'm not too experienced with this game. I hear clicking. I hear click and nicking. Where's the clicking coming from? Where are they? Where art thou, evil bugs that come to slay my society? Oh, you guys are just little tiny adorable bugs. Okay, I'll just stab you to death real fast. Apparently they are skitterling workers and they're explosive skitterling workers. Oh shit, they're chewing on my house over here. They stole my food, how dare they- No, they stole my biscuits, not my croissants! No, my croissants are forever gone. Forever alone, without the aid of croissant. On our construction menu, it looks like we can do a loadout area. Alright. I would love to do a loadout area, but I don't know if we can build at night. Let's see here. Loadout areas. Customize your settlers with different weapons and gear can only be built once. Well, we don't have any stone or anything like that, so I'm beginning to think that that might not be an option for right now. We can click on that. Ah, there it is. Okay, you've unlocked new buildings by clicking on that. Apparently, that's a watchtower. Let's go. We're going to go down to the surface and see what's up. Whee! This is actually the thing that I'm more <laughs> interested in than anything else. I haven't had a huge chance to play this game. But I want to go down to the surface and see what's going on. So it looks like we've got some mangoes. I like mangoes. Mangoes are delicious. Why are you guys knocking them all over the place, though? You guys got to... Uh-oh. Skitterlings. Stab them. Remove them. There we go. And then we'll also do our best to grab the remainder of these mangoes. I don't know. I'm assuming that meter on the right-hand side is how much shit they can carry back to the house with them. So we've got ore over here on this side. Let's go ahead and chop away on some ore. And now that the ore has been dubiously chopped, we'll also get some stone, which I guess is a common resource. We'll bring that back with us. But the game is basically trying to balance out like a civilization manager with like a light RPG RTS element on the ground. It also looks like we have wood over here. We've got wood in the jungle. Wood with Marta. Goody. That's just the way I wanted the afternoon with Marta to go in the bug-infested jungle. Nothing says bug-infested jungle to me like getting naked and whipping out the old wang. That's always the best idea. Like, wait, the jungle is infested with bugs? Let me drop my pants real fast. Whoopity doo! Alright, so we'll grab a couple of these over here. They're flying all over the place, so I'm going to have to collect them the hard way. That is to say, I'm going to have to collect them by, like, running around and actually having them sucked into my inventory here. And I think we are full up on inventory. Holy shit balls! What is that thing there? Oh shit, it's more badass than we are. Ow! Healing aura! Healing aura! 
Give me a healing aura. It's the only way we're gonna walk away with this. Our characters have little like special abilities and skills and stuff, but if he does that AoE thing again, we are really gonna hurt. Can we chop him up for food? Oh, we can? Hell yeah, it was a barbed bear. Alright, ba 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 bear. Ba 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 bear. I'ma take your hair. Sorry, I get carried away in the moment sometimes. Alright, so we got some food. Let's drop all the stuff off at the house right now. We've got a pretty good grip of supplies, actually. If people get hungry, I think we're gonna be solid. Now then, we've got a loadout area. Can I give people guns? I hope I can give people gats, dude. That'd be woods. Up. I'm gonna put the loadout area right there, like right along the edge to conserve space. And then let's get it deployed, because I want to find out if I can get like a rifle or some kind of boom stick. And so we can give them different gear. Oh, there's like rifles. And there's hammers, so you get an ability called Dragon Breath. Damn. Yeah, not rifles for everybody, just rifles for one person, though. Everybody else gets machetes. Is there anything else in here that I can get? There's a missile launch? What is that, a mortar? Good lord. All right, we'll have two guys with rifles for right now, and two guys with schwerts. And now that we got two guys with schwerts, loadout area. We need a sawmill. Let's go back down to the surface. Hopefully the meat doesn't go away. If we lose our meat right now... It's going to cause some heat in the streets, I'm not going to lie. So let's make our feet fleet. Down we go, and we'll click on that thing. And then it looks like our bear actually dissipated. Uh, if you don't know that about nature, the little biology lesson with Splattercat here, bears are actually made out of hostile gases that over time just begin to coagulate. And so when you kill them, they return to mist. And that's why it's so hard to capture a bear. That's why. That's why it's so difficult. It has nothing to do with the lackluster hunting skill or the inability to put skill points into your survival rankings. No. It has almost entirely to do with the fact that bears are made of hostile gas. Hostile gas bears. Hostile gas bears. Let's get some wood real quick, because I think that's probably going to be one of the more important things we can bring back with us. We've got enough food for right now. There's a bunch of food sitting around. As far as I know, we can migrate the island, too, by removing the anchor. We can actually go somewhere else once we start running out of supplies. And so... I'll probably do that once we've got this entire area cleared. It seems like a wise idea rather than just, like, floating up in the air and dying of starvation, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you gotta starve, sometimes you don't. I'm gonna go get this stone over here, too, because we need building materials. Not gonna focus on food for a minute. Hopefully those large barbed plants over there don't hurt me. They seem to have made the bears in this area quite grumpy. I'm gonna drop a healing ore on people just real fast so that the cooldown is... What the shit was that noise? Good lord. I don't know what that was, but I don't want to find out. Oh, it's another barbed bear. What does this do? Shoots a cluster of incendiary bullets. Oh, night is drawing close. Never mind. Night is getting cuddly with us, so we might as well go back up to the surface and make sure that we're safe. All right, so I'll probably put in a couple more watchtowers. I don't know what else I want to have, but we've got some stun, and we've got some wood. So maybe we'll go with a sawmill and turn logs into planks. Okay, that doesn't seem like too horrible of a prospect. Let's go ahead and take that and put it right there. And then I'm going to click on this thing, but I think we're about to get attacked. I wish I had a radar so I could see where I was getting hit from. I hope they come from a direction that is easily defensible. Oh, there's some bugs right there. Shoot them. Shoot those things. Take them out. Oh, there's no gun sound effect either. That's a bummer. The game, like I said, is in early alpha right now, but it seemed like an intriguing idea, so I wanted to show it off on the channel. Just in case y'all hadn't seen it yet, Anchor is pretty sweet. I mean, I haven't got really... Ooh, that's a big bug. That's a big old stank bug. Get him. Shoot that fool. Yep, give him the guns. Soft style. Is it Morninga yet? Morninga. Everybody get healed up with the healing aura. And then, if that's all we have going on... I say we go back down to the surface and keep scavenging. I'm going to keep this rapid fire for right now. we got to make sure that we get all the things we need before we leave. So we're back down on the surface. I do like the idea of the game. Like the overall idea of a floating island where you're pretty much isolated up there. You have to do wave defense and whatnot. But during the daytime, you get to scavenge down on the ground. I like that idea. That idea makes me happy. It makes me excited. It makes me, you know, firm with the anticipation of things to come. I hope we don't get attacked by a bear. I know that sounds like a, what does this do? Spinning slash. Okay, so it does like AoE damage. We don't have a lot of heals left, so I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, they do auto attack on their own if you just leave them to their own devices. In this case, that device would be a firearm. 
There we go. But we have no more healing abilities right now. And I don't know if there's going to be anything else that way. So I'm going to stop pushing. There's some food on this side. What I'm really looking for is stone. we got 13 seconds left until... Bad guys, are you over here? God, I hope not. I don't know why I'm collecting these mangoes. Because there was perfectly accessible food much closer. And in much less dangerous areas. But I'm going to do it anyways. Because survivalism. Survivalism. You gotta take the things... Okay, so there's buggies over there. And they are coming out of some kind of hive complex thing. Oh good, there's more of them over here. Fantastic. But my heels are back up, so we'll probably be okay. There you go, get him with the big shot. That's why we call them Big Shot. Is there any... Ooh, there's so much stone over here and we need it so badly. Alright, grab that stone, grab that stone. It's stoner time! Gonna stone it on up and hope we don't get bit by bears. Come on. Get the stone into the backpacks. Oh no, a bear is coming. It's on its way. It knows we're out here. The barbed bear. It's deeply upset with us. That's probably its favorite rock right there. As a geologist, I understand that feeling. Sometimes you have a favorite stone. Ow. Let's go ahead and put the heels on people. You give them the big bruck a blast. We'll drop this thing, and then we'll take its flesh as a meal. There you go. Take its flesh. Eat its flesh. Eat its flesh. That did not give us as much food as I had hoped it would give us. There's also a slight chance that the, we'll get a second bear on our way back to base. We do have a meter in the top right-hand corner that tells us what time of day it is. I'm trying to be proactive at the moment and try to get as much resources as possible because I want to go on a building spree after this. I want to make sure that we're able to build, like, at least three to four buildings. Yeah, we're going to get a second bear for when one bear isn't good enough. You need a second bear. Where is the second bear at? Everybody run back to where the anchor is. Everybody just, like, haul ass. Oh, no. That's even worse. I didn't know the bugs could come back. Oh, if my little dude's leveled up or something, I wouldn't worry about it. But since uh, since the bugs appear to come back, that means this is going to be kind of a nasty war of attrition every time we want to go somewhere. You guys go get up in the car. We ain't got time to mess around with barred bears right now. And we'll go back up to the surface because it's almost nighttime. And let's see what kind of construction we can get done to protect our civilization. I may actually break this tower over here and put them more in like closer to the center area. It seems like they like the center areas better. Now what can I build? What do we have going on here? We've got a masonry. We've got a farm. Everybody put your stuff back inside of there. That gives us 22 wood. We need planks. So somebody go over there and start constantly working on planks. And then I would like to have... A watchtower right here, maybe? Yeah, that sounds good. We'll put somebody with a gun on top of it so they can shoot at enemies. Now, my assumption is that this person is going to convert logs into wood. Yeah, there we go. So we're getting logs into... Well, the logs are already made out of wood, okay? We're not doing any crazy alchemy here or anything. So if I put you up in the watchtower, you can actually shoot at mine enemies. Okay. That's pretty sweet. We don't have a mine here yet, but I'm sure once we do have a mine, it will accrue enemies in some fashion. That's the wrong button. I don't want to click that right now. Instead, I could do a second watchtower. We can also do a masonry. Prepare to defend your settlement with your life. Alright, stop making planks. Those don't matter right now. Planks are currently unimportant to our overall survival. We can get more wood. That's easy. Wood is not a difficult acquisition. Get over there and build that watchtower. We'll put the gun guys on the watchtowers unless they don't have range on whatever it is they're trying to shoot. Einar, go up in the tower with a gun. And then hopefully that increases their range and makes them more useful at shooting things that are trying to hurt us. Oh, here they come. The clicking of their disgusting little legs. Flapping on the horizon. Threatening us with constant danger. Oh, he can shoot from there. Good. It does give them, like, a pretty tangible range boost. In fact, it looks like it gives them a damage boost, too. He's going to be able to shoot over here. So let's go ahead and we'll swing across the other... Oh, my God. There's so many bugs. Seriously, though, there's a lot of bugs over here. You guys run a healing aura real fast. And then you finish them off. And are those bugs big enough to give us food? Or do we have to work for that? I guess we got to twerk it for bourbon on that one. Everybody out of their defensive positions and... Before we go too much further, let's get that masonry done. And so there we go. That'll let us make stone bricks. We'll watch out. This is actually just an excuse for me to let my health regeneration come back up. I don't know. I wonder if they're going to have, like, different classes later on in, like, a later alpha. 
like if their classes are going to change and you can actually swap people's classes have them level up in certain jobs so that they get special abilities that are better or worse based on their proficiency that sounds like kind of a cool mechanic that i would assume is going to exist in the future it's the place that i would go obviously if i was a developer but sometimes games go in weird directions i play a lot of games on this channel i play games constantly it's kind of what i do here on the internet and what i found is that when you play games on the internet sometimes games go in weird design directions that you didn't expect sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you never really know more bugs huh i would like it if they leveled up it would make it feel more useful to fight like it would make fighting have a point like they're getting stronger they're getting better at their jobs they're getting better at you know being kick-ass little i think that shot was a miss there we go if we get a bear right now we are in well, I won't hardly be able to bear it there. I'll put it like that. Got iron ore over here. Oh, there is a bear over here. That is super shitty, Maka, and I don't like it at all. Yeah, depending on who the bear attacks, this might not be a good day for us. Kite! Kite like the wind! Oh, no, they came back again. They came back again. The bugs came back the very next day. All right, so we'll go inside the cart. Away! And hopefully they don't just like wait for me down there because if they do, this is going to be a rough day. We should definitely raise the ankle. Oh, we can't raise the anchor right now? I wonder if we unlock that later on. Because raising the anchor at the moment is what I want to do, but it's not letting me. Are they still going to be down there just like waiting for me? Or do they despawn? It looks like they despawn. Alright, let's go back down. I, I mean, there's so many enemies down here that it's really difficult to, like, make any concurrent progress without some kind of upgrade, you know? Uh, there's a camp of some kind over here. Oh, good sweet Jesus. There we go. We'll unleash a couple of shots at them. And seeing as we don't really have a whole lot of healing, does this campsite have anything for me? Like, can I do anything with it? I don't know if I can do anything with the campsite, but I'm going to get down on some of this ore right now because we took the effort of liberating it anyways. So, maybe we're going to be able to ride this out. We should have a bear pretty soon, I think. There it is. Nice little stack there. Ah, oh, we pulled a few more. Shit. Alright, keep killing them. The jungle is hostile. The jungle is cruel and the jungle is mean. Never underestimate. The jungle does not want us here. The jungle is not fascinated with our existence. In fact, it's perfectly fine going about its business as usual, but instead it's decided to mess with us. Go ahead and drop another heal so that everybody's at full and everybody's looking all nice and tailored up. Got that constitution worked on. We got trees back this way, so I don't need to run into dangerous areas to get trees and logs and whatnot. Stone still remains kind of a precarious issue. I'm hoping we'll be able to pick that up pretty soon, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and we'll grab some wood from over here. Because when I go into the jungle, the first thing I think to myself is, where can I get wood for the first time since I've arrived in this jungle? Obviously, that's one of the first conclusions you're going to draw when you go into a jungle like this. And here comes one of the bears. We only have one heal up, so we should be able to kill it perfectly fine. But I'm going to pick up the logs, and we are going to bounce to the ounce. Ma bounce. Bounce. Ba -ba -do -ba -ba -ba. Ma bounce. There we go. Ma bounce to the ounce. There we go. And so we got a bunch of stuff going on now. Let's spend the rest of the day with people making stone and people making... So we've got the masonry, yes, a healer's hut. We'll heal everybody close to it. We can make a bear trap, and that can be reset three times. Uh, we can use a blacksmith to get new weapons for our settlers. I'm thinking that's the best idea. So that's what I'm going to do. There we go. You guys go over here and work on the blacksmith. There it is. So with the blacksmith, it looks like we can research new weapons if we have ingots and we have extra stuff. So the warhammer looks like the logical upgrade for like some of the things we're doing. And then I think the uh, mortar is more than likely an upgrade for the rifle. So that we can be a little bit more deadly once we hit the ground. We can be a little bit stronger. Can I get more settlers? Is that possible? Like, can I build more huts? Oh, we can get a farm to give us slow but constant food. Well, maybe I'll do that. Uh, rifleman, up into the towers. I need a tower on the south end. 
I definitely need a tower on this south end. I think it might be the only way that we actually, like, pull ourselves out of this thing. Oh my good lord, there's so many of them. There are a lot of bugs right now. Holy shit, dude. We got rolled out on. We got rolled out on so hard. That was just day three? How could you, day three? You're so cruel to me. Yeah, stop allowing him to shoot you up in your tower. I think we need to put everybody on rifles in the evenings and just put up four towers because it limits the enemy's access to you. Oh, you didn't save our Twinkies, bro. You had one job. All right, everybody out of the tower. Get back down here and let's res these dudes up. There we go. We'll try to get a healer's hut built. I'll more than likely just put it right there. That way we can start regenerating some HP. They didn't take that much food. And we do still have materials around to make like a farm or two. Oh, we don't. Never mind. We need more stone. We need more of like everything. All right. Well, until we get more of everything. Perfect. I'm wondering if I can exploit the healer's hut to put it at the base of towers so that enemies like can only hit people for a certain amount of damage before the tower starts to whittle them down hella hard. But I guess that would be a question for another day. Until we can find some more wood and some more stone, we're going to be having problems here. And our longevity and our ability to like make it through the jungle has not been good. Hopefully we can bring back some food today. Hopefully we can bring back some stone. Hopefully we can bring back... Oh, I don't know. We, we need everything at the moment. We need a lot of stuff. And until we get it, we're going to find ourselves definitely wanting for certain things. I was not expecting the enemies to respawn. I thought it was going to be at least somewhat safe down here as you went through the game. Oh, there's a bunch of mangoes on that tree. I thought there was only going to be like four because I'm good at counting. All right, so we'll go off to the east. Probably going to get attacked by more bugs. Yep, I, I had assumed that would be the case. I think there was stone down this way. Maybe. We're going to try and push through as hard as we can. If we can spread the damage out slightly, I think that would be satisfactory. That way I only have to run like one heal at a time. It would also be cool if you could move the anchor down here so that you could drop pod into like different areas basically. I think that would be kind of a cool idea. Is that once you have like a certain technology, you can move to a different area. Well, there's a little bit of food here. We do need food. Without more villagers, though, I don't know how we're going to fight that many enemies and, like, defend ourselves. Like, I just don't know. Like, that was a lot of enemies. More than I think four guys could handle. Yeah, you guys get in here and kill off the little bugs. They shouldn't be too bad. We've almost got heals back up anyway, so... Drop one right there, and there we go. A couple more enemies taken out. We found a stone down here. More importantly... We found stone down here, which is all I care about. I just need more stone. And until we get it, we're not accomplishing jack. And so I've converted too much of my stone into bricks right now. And i got to bring back at least like 10, 15 with me. We know that we can fight back to here, which is good. That's no longer a concern. Where have they put us right now? Oh, we actually came down. Okay, so it's just a, a big old loop. That makes sense. All right. Map design with the designers of Anchored. It's just one big ol' loop. I wonder when we get to leave with our anchor. Like, when do we get to choose to just, like, GTFO and go to a different island? Maybe we have to bring, like, a... Maybe we have to build, like, some kind of, like, wind farm or something like that to get up and out of here. Yeah, you guys just keep running. Don't fight. Go get in the cart. Like, they'll get their nibbles off, but they're not going to be able to kill us. And so the second everybody is in the cart, I'm glad that they ignore orders. I hate it in RTSs where, like, you give them an order, but they've got, like, auto attacks. So when things hit them, they turn around and try to hit them back. So you're having to click, like, 400 times to get them to move around. Uh, you guys go drop off all your supplies back here at base. Sehr gut. And then we'll go to the healer's hut. And I think for the case... I think a case can be made that we need more traps... So I'm going to say that bear traps, can I like shift click these down? Because that's actually going to be cumbersome if I have to click these like one at a time. But yeah, the sides that aren't covered, they need help over here somehow. And so my suggestion would be that we just kind of, oh, they build bear traps quick. Okay. Well, I could have just mob built that then. I would just put in a shit ton of bear traps right now and we'll worry about building other stuff tomorrow. We also have landmines. 
which I think will clear up this issue a little bit. But yeah, that's that's pretty much anchored. As of right now, my name is Splattercat. If you want to get this game, it's completely free to play. You can go download it right now. I'll have the link for you down below. Thanks for stopping on in, and I will see you all next time. If you want to see more Anchored, you know what to do. Got to leave them comments and them likes and whatnot, because that's how I gauge how much interest there is in like a full series potential. All right? I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.